Hey dude, where's my nail art? Said my subscribers. Nails are like, wee! <laughs> wee! Okay, this is the hard part. I gotta basically paint black right beside my cuticle. Uh How are you doing? Why did I ask that so angrily? How are you doing? Tell me the truth. Don't lie. Good, I'm painting my nails. Cool, cool, I will be too. What's on your hand? It's a glove. I'm naked. I was just doing a little bit of oil soap because my nails are so angry with me right now. Today, we're gonna do some nail art. We are painting in peace. No one bother me. Okay, look what I did. Can you believe it? Does this look familiar too? Where have you seen this before? Go on, guess. What is that? A 2024 nail trend of the year? Oh, we should do those. But this color palette. Ban my tea! Thank you. Do you want a cheeseburger later? No. No more cheeseburgers. Trending in 2024 is allegedly swirl nails. It was not endorsed by many. Only two articles had said swirl nails would be trending, but whatever, you know. Whoever says it, it's true. I've already painted this just to kind of practice. There's some improvements to be made. See how the size of the swirl actually kind of goes in and out. Like it's larger up here and then it narrows and then it gets thicker and then it narrows. And that's what's also happening here. And I think that's why it looks good. Not that it wouldn't look good if it was just a little more uniform, but I actually think the effect is a little bit more retro and wavy in a good way when you do that thick and narrow. So I need to improve on that. The articles say this, this type of nail art is really easy. Let's go in with the new I Need Space collection. I'm using all five shades from the new collection. First, we base coat. I'm using Peely Base, and then I will add a smoothing base just because that's kind of my style. The hardest part, honestly, is painting so the camera can view. What are you in terms of your nail art skill ability? Expert, advanced, I'm okay. Beginner, but I do some things. Like, you do something. I have no idea I'm bad. I am proud to get polish on the nail. You know what? I love that for you. That's what I like to see. You know, if you're just getting polish on your nail, then you're doing good. That That's great. You know, just give it a few months and then you'll be like, oh, doing all the hollow taco combos. 7% are expert, okay. 29% are okay. 38% are beginner, but they do some things. 26% I have no idea slash I'm bad. Okay, 26%. Sometimes just watching people do something that you don't know how to do, you can learn so much from that. You know what I mean? All right, my Peely base is dry. And now I'm gonna do smoothing base. I'm taking my nail art brushes. In the Hollow Taco nail art brush set, there's five different brushes. To do what we're doing here, I'm just gonna use one brush and not the detail brush, which is the smallest. I'm actually gonna use the brush one size up because here I wanna be able to do a bit like wider and not have to waste so much time filling in spots with a smaller brush. So I'm using the bigger brush, but also not the striping brush. The striping brush is best for straight or slightly curved lines. Normally when you do a gradient or any nail art and you're using multiple colors, you wanna pick probably the shade that's the lightest so and coat the whole nail in that just to give yourself a uniform base because the darker shades are easier to put over the lighter base than the other way around. So my first hunch was like, okay, I'll put, I'll probably do alien infatuation. If you put something like I'm Rover it or, or bite me over this green tinge, these are both jelly bases. You're gonna have this kind of running through it and then it might be a little bit muddier. So I actually do not recommend painting on one of these first and then doing more over top because too many of them have unique formulas <laughs> that have a jelly base. So my solution is, just paint them on the naked nail. Other prep I like to have around me while I'm painting is a yogurt lid. You could also just use your no mess mat instead of a yogurt lid, but because I have my keyboard here, I will put my arms and sleeves into my nail polish because I can't really move this around right now. But yeah, you, people use the mat. I'm gonna start with alien infatuation because I really like her just being in the middle there. Come out little alien friend. So you don't need to put too much out because it dries up, you know? So just do a little bit at a time, but I like to refresh from the fresh bottle every so often. I'm gonna take my brush 
Just give it a little bit of my spit. That's a secret ingredient. And then I run the paint through the brush a few times first so it gets absorbed and you don't get like weird missed spots, blank spots. We're gonna be painting each stripe up in opacity. So I'm just doing kind of like an outline, kind of like an artist would just draw with pencil first and then later do marker or pen. So we're painting kind of like a weird S and really my first stripe here is gonna set set the tone for all the other colors. So that one I didn't do a full S. I want them all to be different. I don't want every nail to be exactly the same. Are you selling your spit so we can use that to straighten our brushes? Should I? How much? How much? What's the retail? What's my minimum order quantity? I think this side is extreme, but then I'm gonna swing back around and do a big one over here. Yeah, so they're all a little different. And right now I'm kind of just doing the outline, so I'm not too worried about the thickness. I'm gonna tweak that next. In between shades, you, you should be continuously kind of wiping it off and rinsing it gently with acetone, just so you don't like clunk up your brush or contaminate with another color. I just dip it in acetone and then I put it in between a paper towel. I squish it, I pinch it and then take it off and it's already so clean. And now I'm good to go for if I want it to continue in that color or to the next color. Just don't spill it anywhere, don't drink it, you know, disclaimers. Now, because this collection has some colors that are both dark and light, I wanna make sure that I'm creating enough contrast. I could do something like this. Let's go in with, or bite me. I'm gonna throw her on my dish. Definitely going to try this. Yes, let's go. If you paint anything here today, whether it's this or anything else, make sure you use hashtag paint with simply on socials so I can see, so I can roast you. Okay, ready? This is hard. Now I'm trying to do the weave in and out thing now that I'm on a dark color, but because we're gonna do two to three coats of each shade and build them up, it does give me a little bit of artistic liberty to fix it, you know, with increasing coats and it's hard not to, to shake. Like I'm somewhat shaky. If you pay close attention, you can see a little bit of shaky shake, but I guess I've been doing this for so many years that I kind of like know and I can like still control it while it's slightly moving. Also painting and see how like I'm doing like quick choo 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 and then I'll go back and smooth over. I find that technique also helps if you shake a little bit. Do you think Allure will be proud of me? Okay, while I'm on this color, I'm actually just gonna go back and do a second coat of or bite me before I dirty it or so I don't have to switch it up. Bacon nails. Oh my God, you guys are just hungry for meat. Okay, where are the vegans? You guys just don't listen to me. Like I give you a whole mood board. I give you shade names and copy. I give you explanations for four hours and you still do not listen. Okay, see I'm painting that mountain a little higher. There ain't no mountain high enough. Wee! My nails are like, wee! Wee! <laughs> wee! So I think like two coats since I'm doing it kind of thick. I'm gonna go back in with Alien. Okay, I literally can't see this side. Oh, next step, I'm rover it. Okay, I'm painting on the other side of the Alien. <laughs> There's so much less room on my pinky. Rounding the corner, woo! We made it. Let's make this guy a larger swirl there. That one literally looks like an S. It's so S-y. Not S-y like the nail polish brand, just like S-E. S-ish. Flaring like my pants used to do. This looks easy when she does it. It's not easy. It takes a lot of concentration and staring. Can you draw me like one of those French girls? Draw you like a French girl would draw you? Or draw you to look like a French girl? Please confirm. Get some solo mission? Hmm. This one is actually hard to freehand with because it has flakes in it. Flakes are not the easiest to paint with. You really have to like shove the pieces around. I can't see, you're gonna have to tell me if I'm filling in the gap. Is that it? Now I'm getting to the point where I can't really do S's because I just kind of have this top of the pointy mountain, but I don't want it to be pointy. So I'm gonna make sure that it's kind of a rounded polish mountain. 70s vibes unfold slowly, right? I kind of like this. You know what's weird? When I looked at the palette, I don't really get 70s if you just look at them in the bottles, but paired with this style, I definitely get it and I like it. Very like, cool dude. That nail art is so cool, dude. Dude, hey dude, where's my nail art? Said my subscribers. Okay, I'm definitely gonna paint my finger on purpose because I have to get it close and now I'm gonna have to go in and clean up on aisle three. Next, we'll be going in with waste of space. That's me. <laughs> Okay, this is the hard part. I gotta basically paint black right beside my cuticle. I fucked up. Oh my God. 
Wow, I kind of did it. Why is Ben calling me? No. What? I don't want to see hummus. I don't, I don't have an answer. What, what sound do you think it makes? A very calming sound. I said I wanted to paint in peace, Ben. And this is what I get. I get hummus. Those swirls are swirling. They are very swirly. Wee. Okay, what am I missing? Let's take a look at this topography map. I need solo mission. Should I put solo mission or just skip back to alien? No, I want more green actually. I lied, I'm doing more green. What do you find harder to paint a wavy line or a straight line? Well, straight line can be easy with a striping brush, because then you basically just go as quickly as possible. I think painting a clean curvy line is actually harder. I'm revealing that I'm painting alien on my alien skin, just so I can get it in the pocket there. Painting my skin again. Don't worry if like some of this looks slightly thick. By the time we put on a second glossy taco, it's all even, so that's always resolved later. Is it more relaxing to watch someone else paint or to paint yourself? I would make a poll, but I'm busy. Both? Paint my own nails, watch someone else, paint myself. Or what about painting someone else's nails? Is that relaxing for you? It's usually not for me. I'm usually annoyed at whoever's nails I'm painting. Most people's nails I painted don't want to sit there. It's like Ben. He's like, okay, is it, are you done? Dee Dee Mega Doo Doo. Ben, are you seven? Yes. Ben has a great point. Oh my God, what is wrong with human humanity? Help us. Or don't, just, just end it. It's okay, we got TikTok for that. Pardon me, I can't see. All right, last color should be, yeah, I'm over it. Yes, 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 yes. Dee Dee Mega Doo Doo is from a news anchor mishap. Okay. Most of you use custom simply emote. It would just be the Ben stop emoji. I'm, I need the Ben stop emoji on my phone so I can text him appropriately. Oh my God, I missed that spot. My nails are so curved. I can't see the other side, like the planets on the other side of the sun. This would take ages, but it's worth it. What do you mean? It's only been two hours and I did four nails because I did one last night. I am cleaning my human skin so that I can look Polished and professional. Okay, we missed that spot. Uh, another black in the cuticle, poorly planned, moderately executed. Ready? Don't breathe. No! No! Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm actually gonna do this, which is illegal. Don't stab yourself, but that way I kind of like dug it out gently. Okay, okay, okay. We are almost done. I'm gonna use, yeah, waste of space again in the cuticle. I'm just so risky today. Oh my God. I'm basically a vlogger. No, no. Do not breathe. Putting black in the cuticle. I mean, it doesn't stain that much because it's a jelly. It's not like one coat black. That's not easy, allure.com. I don't remember which one of them said. Swirls are easy. Just start here. Excuse me? Hello? Who wrote this? I'm just cleaning my brush because that'll be the last time I use it. And the proper way to clean your brushes is to first remove all the nail polish, dipping it in acetone, and then kind of going like this, gently pulling it out, just gently. Then I would rinse this under water. Don't want to let the acetone continue to eat at the bristles. Then putting nail oil, literally like there, one drop. And then you would reshape it, which just means, I mean, it's already shaped. And there, you just let it sit. And then it's fresh and nice. Oil helps keep the brushes supple for the next time you go to use it. It's glossy taco time. Yes. Watch the difference. See how it's very textury? Like you can tell I painted each stripe one by one. But now I'm, I'm actually gonna do two coats of glossy taco, but I'm gonna let the first coat dry because that is the best way to make sure that you have a really nice even surface on nail art that did have a little bit of texture. Wow. See, it looks professional now. Damn, what planet are you from? Cause you're out of this world. Who am I talking to, my nails? So smooth. I did flood slightly with Glossy Taco, as I normally do because my nails are so curved and I wanna make sure the Glossy Taco goes to the side. So I'm just gonna gently round with my acetone dipped brush. And you might be like, why? You can't even see it, it's clear. It dries clear, yeah, but then the nail art will pop off quicker because the glossy top coat is on my skin, which means it can't properly adhere. All right, we're looking good. I love seeing you do nail art. Thank you, Francis Baking and Eggs S. That's what my nails say, S. I'll have to try this when the collection arrives. Woohoo! Can you do nail art on short nails? Didn't I do? I made two videos where I did nail art for short nails. 
The point I always used to have was any nail art style can be adapted for short nails. You just have to maybe reduce the number of stripes or make the border thinner. Like simplify the design that you're going for and you can still make it work for short nails. If you do fewer swirls over a creme base, it is more beginner friendly and good practice. Absolutely, yep. This nanny makes me want a BLT. Can you explain what is a BLT? Is this an acronym? You, you want an acronym? You want bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Well, which one do you want? Make up your mind. Is it what is it? Is it bacon, lettuce, or tomato? Second coat, glossy taco to make it super smooth. Okay, there's been like 12 people who's tried to clarify it's the sandwich. Guys, I know it's the sandwich. I'm just fucking with you back. <laughs> but simply it's the sandwich. <laughs> they look good. What the heck? Did we do it? Did I do it? Am I on trend now? Swirl nails were trending. And so am I. Is simply trending? I expect alert to add my nails <laughs> to this article. <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Nailed it. Now you match even more with your hoodie, right? It is very retro 70. I like it. How long will this typically last for you? When will you change it? So I will be changing the middle finger like tomorrow because I need to do macro swatches for the upcoming stuff. But if I didn't have that, then I'd probably leave this on for like a full week. And nail polish lasts longer on me because I have very porous nails. And so they adhere to nail polish much better than the average person. Like this I've been wearing for nine days. Who's recreating this? I dare you. I expect to see this under hashtag paint with simply. I'll try to recreate it. I'm busy making a BLT. It won't look like yours. I will when I get mine. Thanks so much for swatching and nail arting with me. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.